This is Project Lone Wolf. Moo! Welcome everybody to Pokemon Soul Silver part number 85. <laughs> I almost forgot what number again. Oh, wow. Yeah, 85. I'm Cal's Crazy and this is Project Lone Wolf. Ow! And the last part, um, we were defeated again, second episode in a row, and I'm going to try not to make it three. Um, yeah, blue got me, and I wasn't too happy about it. I wouldn't even say blue got me. His Gyarados got me, let's be honest about this, okay? He didn't really do nothing. He didn't do dick all. And, um, I've been reading the comments here that have come through, and, um, honestly, it's just like, I think I have a good team, it's just there are holes, as somebody pointed out, in my team, and that glaring hole really is against a water type. I know there's a hole against a fire type, too, but honestly... I'm not that worried about it, uh, uh, as far as fire is concerned, but, um, yeah, when it comes to water type, I'm pretty much a dead duck, and seeing that Gyarados is a water flying type, and yeah, okay, anyways, so my choices were to either put the sheep back in my final lineup, which I don't really want to do. I know you all say it's okay to put, to have a guy on your team just for the purpose of one Pokemon. Because that's, when I really think about the Elite Four, I don't feel my sheep is going to be that handy. Like, I really don't. Other than one Pokemon. Um, so, it's either that, or try to find a TM on one of my po existing Pokemon that will help me out a little and you know ease the burden so none of my Pokemon would learn an electric type move which really sucks but some of them could lo learn a rock type move which is super effective uh, against the flying half at least of Gyarados so um yeah so we put a rock type move on my mammal swine, and I know my mammal swine is, yeah, well, that's just the way it's gonna have to be. And if this doesn't work, then, well, then I guess I'm gonna have to go to my sheep. You finally got here, huh? Yeah, I've been here before. Shut, shut the hell up. Let's just fight. Let's go. I'm not good. I'm horrible. I'm the worst. Blue versus cows. Cockfight! Alright. Seriously, I'm just the absolute worst. Oh fuck, I forgot he was gonna start with the egg man. Um Do you know what? Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Why is he getting to go first? Seriously? Is this thing really faster than me? Really? Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? That thing was faster than me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? That thing is fat. I know of a big, large, gigantic mammal swine. But, come on! That, that's all I've got to say about that, is, is come on! Like, like, dude! Dude is all I've got to say about that. And it flinched. Thank you. Thank you for flinching. I will take that. Because now, you're done. Goodbye, Eggman. I am the Eggman. I am the Walrus. Now we got the Macha. Alright, so we're good. So we're going to switch and bring in DBZ. You know what? We better heal fucking mammal swine before something bad happens. Cause he's, he's like the whole part of my goddamn plan. It's been screwed up already. And yes, I did level 
a couple of my guys got an extra level up, but I haven't had a lot of time between recordings here to like to really focus on leveling up. And there's nowhere really good to level up. It's just I don't know. And some of you say I should be high enough leveled. It's just to to actually do this. <sighs> I don't know. I just don't know. I just feel like I'm heading into the hardest part in all of Pokemon, and I am not ready. I am not ready! So you could say, I'm a little stressed. Oh, I'm stressed. Okay. Oh. I'm a little stressed out right now. Okay, what, what's he got now? Right? Right on. Right on? Uh, I don't remember. Right on in our last battle. Shit, see, Mammal Swine is the key to everything here! He's the ultimate Mammal Swine, and I've gotta get him ready, okay? I've gotta get him ready right now. Cause he is, he is the be all and end all. He is everything. Channel, you. You are the key. Without you. There is no hope. Stone Edge. Doesn't sound good. Alright, um... But, easy, you're gonna have to take the hits. Um... Milk? Let's milk it up. Oh, even a milk won't get... Well, okay, fine, we'll milk it up. It's close enough. Another Stone Edge. That's all right. You're gonna. You want? We're gonna let you. We're gonna let you go here. Hold it. Would a mega horn or would a com close combat be better in this situation? I would say a mega horn, right? Yeah. You don't want to be punching a rock thing. I'm gonna say mega horn. Let's get a hit in here, and then just let Az go. Unless of course he wins. No. Okay. He's not gonna win off that one hit. That'd just be crazy! It's a critical. Of course it's a critical. Just to make sure. Just in case he wasn't done anyways. Do you want? Know now it's channel time. Here we go. You're the key to everything. You're gonna shake the ground now. It's time for an earthquake. See, I put a rock slide on. Earthquake time. And do you know what I don't get? If earthquake. See, a Raihan. Right on, or other ground slash rock types. Some of them do have the move Earthquake, but wouldn't it be super effective against itself? And how do you uh, yourself avoid an Earthquake? I don't get that. Like, if you're causing the Earth to quake, then you would also be affected by the Earthquake. Like, that's just... LOGIC! <laughs> Arcanine! Fire type! Keep battling. See, here's the glaring hole that some people are talking about. I don't have anything super... My super effective against a fire type is also weak to fire type. But I'm not that worried about it. A little worried. But I'm not that worried about it. Because I don't know how many fire types there really are in the Elite Four. Because there's not a one that specializes in it. So it's going to be a rarity, right? It's going to be a rarity. And that's really what I'm trying to prepare for here, is this Elite Four battle. Slash champion. Here we go. Here comes the problem. Here comes the problem. Okay? You are a problem. I don't like you. You make me mad. But that helps. Not great. Oh shit, here we go. Here comes the dragon dance. Look at this shit. Do you see this shit? Do you see this shit happening to me right now? Oh man, I'm gonna get in so much trouble here. That shouldn't kill me in one hit. If it does, I'm gonna be so pissed off. I swear to god, I'm gonna be so pissed off. I swear to god, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Okay. Okay, so so far, so good. Is that gonna. Yes! Critical! Yes! Yes! 
Yes! Critical! Oh, yeah! I love it! You know what? It's probably a little lucky, and it probably doesn't teach me anything about anything, but... Yeah, yeah, critical. I, I take how them apples. Um, let's just... Let's just let Channel go. If Channel's gonna die to this Pidgeot, then just let it happen. We'll knock you down? I don't know about that. Um... Let's just hit it with another rock. It, it avoided the attack. See, that could be a drawback there, too. But what? I think it said I, it was like a 10% of missing? Like, can my luck really be that bad? It probably could be. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to Proto. See, if I was to put the sheep into my final party, I would have to take one of these people out. And the two choices are either my dragon slash bird. I don't want... You know, because uh, when I really think about it, that, you know, it's probably, you know, I'm trying to think what would be the least helpful in my final Elite Four type areas there. Um, I'm at full power, let's hit it with an eruption. Anyways, and, uh, but other than that, the other person I would take out of my final party is my starter, Proto Mario. When I really think about it, is my fire type really gonna come in handy against psychics, poison, fighting, dark type, and dragons? No. I don't see. There's a couple specialty Pokemon, at least the first time around, where like there was some plants that I could help out with, or some bugs. You know, that was all good. But, at the end of the day, I have to really look in the mirror and say, Proto Mario, you are not the most helpful on this team going into the final end here. And what the fuck, you didn't kill a Pidgeot? Seriously? It's gonna, it's gonna revive, isn't it? There it is. Like... There it is, just to piss me off, just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Alright, let's hit it with another eruption, and I'll probably die, but then we'll send somebody else in. Like, I have full confidence that this bird is going down. He's just delaying the inevitable here. It was the Gyarados I was worried about. Oh yeah, the eruption didn't... Stupid of me, I should flame flower. The eruption did shit because I had shit in health. Shit in health. Shh. Oh, well, sending Captain Jez up because you're also a flying type, so your flying moves on me shouldn't really work that much. And we'll do. We'll just dragon. We'll dragon. How's that gonna make you feel when you get dragoned all over your face? Return. What, 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 what kind of a move is Return supposed to be? It's like he's landing on my face or something with his claws and talons. He's returning to me, but then he doesn't land on the protective barrier on my arm, and he comes and lands on my face, and his claws are digging into my forehead, and I'm like, no! <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> There we go. Goodbye, Blue. Blue, you are done. It's all over for you. Blue! How does that make you feel? The real power of Johto. <laughs> I'm the real power, huh? I don't know about that. No way! How the heck did I lose to you? Alright. Here, take this. It's the Earth Badge. What does the Earth Badge have anything to do with your typing? It was obviously, you didn't have a type, you were just Magical Mystery Tour. The Earth Badge. With this badge, you'll be able to use the HM move- I don't even know where to get the move, Rock Climb. 
Like seriously. Take this as well. And as a rock climb a rock move, because that'd be great, you know? Because that would be really helpful. But then again, rock smash isn't a rock move, it's a fighting move. Like, fuck, it just blows my mind. It contains trick room. It allows slower Pokemon to move before faster Pokemon for a while. Hmm, that is a tricky move, hence the name, yeah. Okay, I get it. Okay, so is that it? I'm, I'm done now? It's all over? There's nothing more left to do here? We just want to get the hell out? Get the hell out of this place! Oh, oh my god, really? Professor- Oh, mandatory phone call! Hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else how hard you're working. I thought I should get you a present or something in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but completely forgot to give it to you. <laughs> ha! Oh, you don't have to wonder about it at all. I know it's something that will be very helpful to you. You should come here and pick it up. I'll be waiting for you at my laboratory in Pallet Town. Alright. Do you know what? I forgot one last thing. Hey! Blue! Smell you later! <laughs> yeah. I just I just had to get that in there. I, I don't know why. Anyways, okay. Off to Pallet Town. Um, hold on. Do you want to heal first? And then head to Pallet Town. And I'm glad I have something else to do in this episode because I'm still so, so distraught with my, my, my selection for the Elite Four. What do I do? Do I, do I go with, with my, with my rock chance here? Like, do I, do I feel this out? Oh, man. Bow now, bow now, 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 now. Because my sheep isn't even leveled up. Like, and I feel I'm going to be underleveled to begin with, going into these Elite Four battles. Fuck, I, I'm just not good at this. I'm just not good at this game. I like to, I like to just try to put on a facade, a show, you know? But I'm really not good at this game. I'm very, very bad. I'm very bad at it. Bow, now, now. Alright, here we go. What's my gift that I had to come? No, that's wrong house. It's Blue's house. <laughs> I meant this house. Well, not house. Laboratory. Give me my damn present. Do you want? I'm gonna make you turn around and look at me. Good to see you. This is what I've wanted to give you. You, old man, don't show me that. Obtain Egypt. There it is. There's the rock climb. Like, it's a little late in the game to be getting rock climb, isn't it? Like, seriously, it's a little... Or, I mean, an HM, not not a move, just... It's a, the game's almost over. What's what's this going to do for me now? Like, am I really supposed to travel around the world and climb all these rocks to find items that may or may not help me? More than likely may not help me? That hidden machine contains the move rock climb. When you teach it to a Pokemon, you can go up rock walls that have steps curved in them. Those badges... Wow! You've not only become the Johto Champion, but you've collected all the Kanto badges. Well done. Hmm. No wonder I sent something in you when we met. Tell you what, cows. I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Really? Me? Mount Silver? Oh my god, I feel so alive and amazing! Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, cows. Go to the Pokemon League reception gate. You can reach Mount Silver from there. Sweet. So, I can 
go to Melk Silver now if I wanted. That's interesting. Um, but that's not really where we want to head to now, is it? We want to head back to the Indigo Plateau. Wow, we were. Seriously. Here we are. In the go plateau. Do we really want to go in here? Once you're in this door, you will be facing one of the Elite Four. They're really tough. You cannot exit once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. I don't know if I'm ready. You know what? I really don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> Maybe we should, uh... What do you need? Buy. That's what I want to do. I want to buy. Do I have... Do I have four stores? I have 19 of them. That should be good. Oh boy. Do you want how, how much is a max max potions might come in handy now? But I have 14 of them. Cause that's like it completely restores the HP. Yeah. See that might come in handy too. But hold it. That's the same thing as a full store, isn't it? Oh, well, full store gets rid of a status thing too. That's the extra price. Okay. Okay, but I have some of those. I have lots of everything. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll have to go into the Elite Four in the next episode. Yes, I'm cutting this one short just because I want the week to really think about this and maybe do some leveling or something. I don't know. But until next time, everybody, I've been Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, move!